Hello again! Once upon a time stories from Leicester Library Neighbourhood Services. I'm Hema and the story I'm going to share with you comes from Africa. And you know it's all about Anansi the Spider-Man and of course Mr. Dry Bones. And of course Miss Louise, Mr. Dry Bones looks something like unbelievably like so. Hmm, Mr. Drybones lives in a beautiful house at the top of the hill and Nancy lives in a broken down house with a rickety old roof and a broken window, no door, at the bottom of the hill to the other side. And Miss Louise, of course, she lives in the middle of the hill between the two. And Nancy has taken a fancy to Miss Louise and every time he goes by he sings to her Malaika, nakupenda malaika, malaika, nakupenda malaika. It means you are my angel and I love you. But Miss Louise is so hard working, she doesn't have time for all this. Hmm. So, Mr. Drybones and Anansi decide, hmm. What we have to do is make Miss Louise laugh. And whoever can make Miss Louise laugh will be able to marry her. Hmm, Miss Louise laugh. Oh, my goodness me. What can we do? Well, Mr. Drybones was so clever. And Mr. Drybones could do magic tricks. So he decided that's what he was going to do. He was going to conjure up some magic tricks for Miss Louise. <gasps> What will it be? Well, I shall see what I can do. He started to do card tricks. Of course, beautiful card tricks. And then he started to produce silk scarves. My goodness, did it make Miss Louise smile? Forget about laughing. No way. Miss Louise, jumbo, jumbo, Miss Louise. Miss Louise didn't want to know. She just carried on doing her work. So he said, I know what. What about if I can turn myself into different animals? She might like a pet. So he turned himself into a... You know what that is, don't you? A pig, of course. Miss Louise couldn't take the smell. Purry! She thought. Well, so he thought, I know what. She might like a soft rabbit. So he turned himself into a rabbit. Did she like that? No. So he turned himself into a cat because cats have nine lives. So he did. But the cat scratch Miss Louise. Miss Louise was not impressed. Who oh, thought Miss Louise, this is not on. Oh no. Well just then, Anansi came, didn't he? Anansi with his hat. Oh, Jambo, Jambo, Miss Louise. Mm, Miss Louise wasn't impressed because she's already been upset. Hmm. So Anansi thought, I know what, I'm going to go and ask my friends to help me. So he went, he went to his friend the tiger. And the tiger said, Anansi, you need to wear new clothes. But I don't have a new suit. I have a suit for you. Here, take mine. Anansi was happy. Now what? Hmm, I need a new hat. And the dog said, I'll give you a new hat. Fantastic, he thought. Hmm, now what? Some new shoes. Who would have new shoes? <gasps> I know, spare pairs of crocodile wood. So I shall go and get shoes from the crocodile. And then what? I will need a tie. Hey, 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 said the butterfly. I'll be your tie and I will give you two feathers to put in your hat. <gasps> well, that was it. So, of course, Anansi was ready, wasn't he? He went and collected his brilliant new shoes. He couldn't see in the dark, could he? Because it was getting really late, midnight. 
and then he collected his hat, of course, excellent hat with his feather in it, just like that, fantastic. Oh, and, uh, and his bow tie, oh, of course, his bow tie was ready, but where's his coat? Where is his coat? Oh my goodness, I haven't even got time to look, he thought. I know what, let me just get my coat on and that would be it. So he swung his arms around and of course, put his coat on. It was a bit tight, but he wore it. Ha, he was ready. Oh, he went. And then he got to Miss Louise's house and he went. Jumbo, Miss Louise! Jumbo! Miss Louise thought, who's this? This time of the night? Impossible! Who could it be? Miss Louise, it's me, Anansi! Oh no, not him again! Then Anansi started singing, Malaika, Nakupenda, Malaika, you are my angel. I want to marry you, please. Oh no, thought Miss Louise. He is so loud. She went to look and... Exactly, she opened the door. Oh, what did she find? Ooh, she was gobsmacked. It's me. Me who? You better come in. And have you had, your, had a look at yourself in the mirror? Me in the mirror. Come in, come in and look at yourself. And when Anansi looked at himself, I couldn't believe it. His hat looked like a dog hat, feather sticking out. His bow tie was a butterfly. His coat was a tiger skin rug. And of course, his shoes and his gloves were like that. Oh, Miss Louise looked. She sort of had a shine in her eye. Then she took a little bit of a <coughs> I can't believe it all. Oh my my and Nancy, look at you. Oh my sing me that song, said Miss Louise. And then Nancy did. Malaika, Nakupenda, Malaika. And when Mr. Drybones heard this, do you think he was happy? Oh, he was furious. But what could he do? Well, a bet was a bet. So, of course, Anansi and Miss Louise were married. But they could not live in Anansi's house, could they? So, Mr. Drybones said, that Anansi and Miss Louise can come and live in his house at the top of the hill. But what about you, Mr. Drybones? Well, said Mr. Drybones, <gasps> we shall see about that. And even now, at a time like this, Mr. Drybones does come and pay his visit. But when? No one knows. But Anansi and Miss Louise were happy for the rest of their lives. And you know what? If you like that song, why don't you sing it for someone? Till next time, do share the story. Take care. Bye for now.